hey lovelies in today's video i'm going to show you a powerful clove and rosemary hair butter for hair growth i'm going to show you how to make your clove and rosemary hair butter for hair growth this is a powerful butter if you know anything about hair growth you know that clove is the king and also rosemary is the king for thickening hair for regrowing hair as well and i'm going to show you exactly how to make this hair but now keep on watching hey lovelies welcome back again to my channel please like the video before we get right into it you guys are not liking my videos please like my videos because this helps my channel a lot we're gonna make our clove and rosemary hair butter for hair growth now this is the most powerful hair butter that you can use because rosemary is known to be the king of blood circulation okay guys now rosemary actually is stimulates and improves circulation to the scalp thus encouraging hair growth it's also a hair cleanser as well due to its antibacterial quality it gently cleanses the hair it also increases shine to your hair it also helps with scalp issues as well relieves irritated dry flaky dandruff ridden scalps okay guys so this is what my uh, rosemary is actually looking like but if you have dried rosemaries as well you can also use that as well it's okay all right guys so i'm going to blend it together now guys you won't believe this a study actually found that there's actually evidence that support that rosemary water does improve hair growth a study in mice found that rosemary leaf extract can decrease the conversion of testosterone to the foam um, which contributes to hair loss you guys so rosemary is actually proven there is evidence to support that it actually helps with stopping hair loss so this is something you need to consider trying out now this is my clove powder now i actually bought it from the indian shops you guys it's not expensive at all now i'm not going to be using like the clove uh the cloves like the cloves i normally use i'm going to be using the clove powder to make my uh clove and rosemary hair butter for hair growth i'm going to use quarter of a cup of clove powder but if you have the cloves you can actually blend them to make it a fine powder okay guys because i love working with powders because they actually release nutrients more easily so you can use any oil of choice you guys three quarter of a cup of any favorite oil that you have you can do that you can use that this is my oil that i'll be using i actually used canola oil this time uh, because it's rich in omega-3 okay now i'm going to be using coconut oil as well but if you don't like it you can just take it off and use another oil that you love um, with this oil don't worry about measurements because we're actually going to measure this oil after infusing it all right now this is my double boiler method uh, underneath this bowl there's a pot full of uh, water it's on top of the stove so i like doing this you guys because i find it very very helpful to infuse my oils uh, to release all the nutrients from the powders to go inside the oil so i'm going to be infusing it for 30 minutes so it's actually good to set on your timer so that you know that when the 30 minutes is over then you can take it off so we are going to measure our butter now this is a shea butter that i'm going to be using for hair growth guys uh shea butter i really love it okay because that's what i've been using all along so i really love shea butter but if you have any other butters like cocoa butter mango butter you can also use that as well you don't have to use exactly what i used now i'm going to put hot water in there just to melt the butter now as you can see it's 200 ml this is um what you want okay you want the butter to be 200 ml okay guys now this is the oil 
oil that is infusing as you can see those bubbles on top it means that it's really infusing very very well as you can see the oil is very dark you know to show that all the curved nutrients are going inside the oil all right now we're gonna need another bowl to put your um shea butter in there you're gonna need a sock and you are going to strain the clove oil all right because you don't need those particles in your butter Now, as you can see with the oil, it's slightly um, above the 200 mil. Okay, so that is the oil I'm going to use. Uh, as I told you before that we're going to measure the oil, you're going to need uh, 200 mil. If you can use 200 mil, that's fine. But me, I ended up using a little above 200 mil for the oil. All right, now I'm going to put my peppermint essential oil um, in this mixture. And I'm going to put this mixture in the freezer for about five to ten minutes but do not leave it for long because you don't want the butter to be too hard for you to be to not be able to mix it all up or oh, you guys you don't need it to be too hard okay now as you can see when i press down on the butter it actually presses down because it's not too hard but if the butter is too hard you won't be able to press down like what i just did so you need to leave it for about five minutes to ten minutes uh, just keep on checking it when you put it in the fridge because you don't want it to be too hard as you can see it's not too hard for me to mix it all up so right now i'm, I'm mixing it uh, you need this mixer you guys if you're mixing up your hair butters because this actually gives the hair butter the right consistency if you understand what i mean now with all my butters when i beat them up like this it becomes hard this is what is happening right now but if you want to use it like this it's okay you can just put it in the in the container but i love adding a little bit of oil inside the butter now i've had someone in the comment section saying my butter was a bit hair butter that she made uh, copying my recipe was a bit oily it was melting down now if you find out that's happening just add in more hair butter to your recipe now you can actually not put oil in there and just put it in the container like that without adding any oil but because i want to try these butters on my scalp i really want to leave them with this consistency because this consistency it's, it's very very like on a lighter weight like if i touch it and rub it on my hand it's going to easily melt down so that is what i want with my uh, rosemary and clove hair butter for hair growth so you guys this is how to make clove and rosemary hair butter for hair growth you guys this is the most powerful hair butter for hair growth that you can use on your scalp on your hair now as i've said with butters you can also use them on your scalp as well just take a hair butter as a hair grease with hair grease you can also put it on your scalp you can also moisturize your scalp by applying it on the scalp and also on the hair as well now as i've said don't put oil if you feel like it's gonna be too uh, it's it's going to melt too quickly just leave it like that okay but me i love my butters to be soft because i don't want hard butters okay guys so yes this is how you make your clove and rosemary hair butter for hair growth as you can see look at this when i apply it to my hands it's oil already it's already melted it's oil this is what i want because i want to try it on my scalp because i really want my scalp to be moisturized with this butter as you can see, it's very moisturizing even to the skin as well. You can also consider using this on your skin. Um, so yeah, you can also use it on your scalp. Don't wash it out. If you apply it on your hair to seal in the moisture, do not wash it out. You can only wash it out when it's wash day. When you're washing your hair, then you can wash it out. But if you feel like your hair is dry, just apply some water on your hair, apply a conditioner, and then seal up that, that moisture with this clove and uh, rosemary hair butter. Thank you for watching and bye for now.